I always get asked, like, if you had one plastic for walleyes to choose, what would you choose? And that's really a hard question because I fish a lot of different plastics for walleyes, but the answer would have to be a paddle minnow, you know, a boot tail minnow like this, a swim bait. Uh, this is a three and a half inch paddle minnow by Northland Tackle. I fish these all the time. You could fish them on a wide variety of jig heads. I like a little bit heavier jig, like this is a current cutter jig, but you can also fish them on a slurp swim head. Um, I like to fish them with a little bit heavier jigs too. You can get away with fishing them with eighth ounce heads if you're in real shallow water like we're doing today, but I use a lot of three eighth ounce um, and heavier just because I like to fish them fast. I fish paddle tails all season long. You know, you can start right away in the spring when the surface temperatures are really cool. It's just the cadence of your jigging is gonna change based on water temperature. You know, as it starts to warm up, you can really get aggressive with that bait, whereas in the spring, it's more of a slow bounce off the bottom. I like to just use a spinning rod with six pound braid, a little fluorocarbon leader, no stretch, no stretch, then I can tell exactly everything that's going on with this. Now, you can fish these baits a lot of different ways as well. You can swim them back to the boat, you can drag them, you can hop them. In the spring like this, a lot of times, again, I pitch it out and I'll just work it back to the boat. I'll show you exactly how I work these paddle minnows. Now with these paddle minnows, you can vertical jig, you can drift jig, you can pull them behind the boat and just kind of walk the dog with them. What I'm doing today is I'm actually pitching this bait up to the shoreline and I'm working it down the break. There's scattered boulders and rock out here and I'm just working it back to the boat. Now what's so important about fishing it on a braid with a fluorocarbon leader is you can feel everything. As you can see, I'm fishing it a little bit on a slack line. So as it hits the bottom, it's gonna momentarily sit there and then I'm just gonna work it back to the boat. There's one right there, just like that. See, it hit it on a slack line. It was actually laying on the bottom. And when it's cold water like this, your pauses should be longer. If you're getting a lot of fish that are picking it up the, off the bottom, I'll actually let my pauses uh, be a lot longer. So I'll, I'll let it lay there rather than momentarily touching the bottom, I'll let it lay there for two or three seconds sometimes. Feels like a decent fish. Thank you, Kyle. Kyle on the net job for me. Nice fish. Literally, the first cast I did for this paddle tail minnow video, and you catch a nice fish. I mean, that's how it works. These fish love these baits. Like I said, if I got asked one plastic, if I had to choose one plastic, it would have to be a, a paddle minnow. It just, it's so effective, and in so many situations, you can fish it in timber, you can fish it in weeds, it's effective in rocks. Uh, it's, it's a great multi-species bait, so in addition to catching walleyes, you catch pike, you catch bass. It's just a great all-around lure. So if you want to check out the Northland Paddle Minnows, the Impulse, the entire Impulse Plastics line, check out NorthlandTackle.com. Hey, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about, baby. Big old walleyes. Look at that right there.